shed the grace. This morning, I lay down to sleep and I had a vision. And in the vision, I don't know if I should say this, but I will not say it completely. I had a vision this morning, just after praying, I closed my eyes to sleep. And in the vision, I was talking with a presidential candidate. One of the three. You know, one of the three. Uh huh. And in the vision, he was very sick. He was so sick that I had to cover my nose with a nose mask. I had to cover my mouth with a nose mask. And he was talking to me. I looked at his eyes. I could see the pressure of the affliction. It was like he was dying from inside. And he was trying to communicate something to me. And in the vision, I had this understanding that this person, um, more than just an ambition to be president, this person is being forced or used by a set of people who have ulterior motives or who have hidden agenda. So they want to use him to get into power so that certain things can continue in their favor in Nigeria. Don't worry, at the end of the prophecy, I will tell you who I'm talking about. So when he was talking to me, I felt the pressure coming from him. And, you know, he told me some other things which I will not say here. But I want us to pray. Now, understand what I'm saying, you know? I'm just saying this to be a nice man of God. Alright? I love Nigeria, my dear country. I love everybody. Amen. So, if you are a good citizen of, of the country and you love your fellow Nigerian, I want us to pray for three amongst all. Pray for all the presidential candidates. Pray for all of them. All of them. Whichever party, pray for them. But there are three I want you to really pray for. I want us to pray for God to preserve their life. Otherwise, I saw somebody, if care is not taken, the person might die either before or immediately after the elections. Did you hear what I said? I want you to pray for God to preserve them. And I know what many of us are different candidates, uh, different party, and all of that. But I'm speaking as a good Nigerian. So that they don't see this video and come for me and say, I say somebody will die. No. I love everybody, including the person that knows I'm talking to him. I love you too. But blanket statement, just pray. I won't tell you what happened next in the vision. I'll keep it to myself. I want you to pray. Particularly, I want you to pray for the presidential candidate of the ruling party. If you love him, pray for him. And also, I want you to pray that whoever, whether cabals or whoever they are, that is behind any candidate or any party or trying to front anybody for their selfish agenda, that before the elections is over, God will expose all of them. As a matter of fact, there is one of them in the northeast here. And the Lord spoke to me this week and said, His days on earth are numbered. He's dying slowly in his body. If he gets the video, he knows what I'm talking about. With all due respect, sir, you know yourself. Amen. Now, you see, when you see me do these things, just this is a different anointing, okay? It's anything that happens, I don't care. Are you hearing me? But God has, I didn't, I'm not a fan of any election, anything. I was just minding my business praying this year and 24th of February the heavens opened over me and God began to talk to me about the future of Nigeria's democracy and when he talks to me I'll come and tell you so there's one of them in the northeast now who is eyeing a position and God says his days are numbered so my advice for that person because he's not a Christian so my advice is from now till you depart do good to people be kind to people. Go and ask for forgiveness in all the people you have wronged, including the people that were above you. 
Because your days on earth are numbered. Not because anybody will kill you, but because the creator of all life has determined a day for your passing. I love you, but I'm telling you what the Lord has said. Even if they send boys to come and pick me in my house, and say, what did you say? I will say it. For me to live is Christ. To die is gain. Are you hearing me? There's nothing you are living for in this life. Rather than drive all these cars and all these good things, they are good. But I would rather walk on the streets of gold in heaven. So I want us to pray because that's what the Lord is showing me. And I won't say I won't say this one. The Lord bless you and keep you. Cause his face to be shine upon you. Cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.